What's going on, guys? Welcome to another standard video here on uh, twitch.tv slash franklapore or youtube.com slash franklapore. Either one. You can uh, you can view it anywhere you'd like. So, um, Mike and Hunts. Uh, Hunts is doing good. Mike should be doing good. I don't know. Couldn't. I think he's fine. Um, this is actually a deck that was submitted by uh, Scott B. Scott B is actually the guy who first recommended me to start taking and doing deck critiques. He was like, hey, you should start, uh, you know, so, you know, commissioning deck critiques and people can send you decks and they can they can help donate or, you know, support the stream or what have you and you can, uh, you know, make a little, make a little uh, stream income while also, you know, helping people out who need the help. And uh, at first I didn't think it was a good idea. I was just like, I don't know if how many people are going to actually do that. Um, because I have a thing with, that's known as imposter syndrome, where I don't actually acknowledge the fact that I've been playing Magic for 20 years. I've written for TCG Player, Channel Fireball, Star City Games, uh, MTG Card Market, New Mod Gaming, PC Gamer, uh, that I've, you know, played Magic at the highest level. I've got a PT Top 8, a Grand Prix Top 8. I've been in the Community Cup. I don't actually acknowledge those things. And I just feel like I'm streamer dude 107 on Twitch. And, um, so I started doing them. I, I, I... I just said, you know what, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. And it's been doing very, very well. So, uh, you know, Scott was like, hey, because I suggested this to you, you should totally check out my deck and let me know what you think. And I was like, I will 100% do that. So here we are. Scott, thank you so much for the opportunity to do this and uh, for, uh, you know, pushing me to, to do it. So here's streamer dude number one in my heart. That's all I could ever ask for, Nifty Chris. That's all I could ever ask for. Do, 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 do. I guess that's the more you know. I'm not sure if that's totally fitting at that moment. Either way, this is Enigma Sniper submitted by Scott B. And uh, the, the general idea is you have Gutter Snipes and Enigma Drakes. And you want to take advantage of both of these guys. You want to shoot them in the face so it doubles up. And then you want to Enigma Drake and attack them with Big Bigs. And you have a bunch of cheap spells to make that happen. And you got a Bane Fire just for the heck of it. Just watched the Commander stream. I loved how much fun it looked like you were having. It reminded me of all the sitting around and playing rando decks with my friends at the table. I hope you keep doing things like this, whether it's playing modern or sand. Nice. I, I think that's a good idea, actually. I did have a, I did have a good time. And um, I would like to incorporate that in the future. Uh, the problem is I'm not an expert. I already had someone. Uh, Dan Brown, you know who you are. You, you uh, submitted an email to me. And I did get it. One of the problems I see is that they're, you know, he he's like, hey, I'd like you to take a look at this deck and give me some give me some criticism on it or what have you. And I was just like, I'm not a commander expert, so I'm not sure if it's like, like I had a good time playing commander. I would do it again in a heartbeat, and I, you know, I thought that stream went really well. But I'm no, I'm by no means an expert in that format, so like asking me to critique these decks is different. Uh, if you just want me to build a deck from the ground up, and um, you know, have a good time with it. I'll I'll one hundred percent do that. That's what Doomsday nineteen eighty one recommended. That's what he paid for, and that's what he that's what he donated for. And we had a great time doing that. But if you're like, hey, give me some advice on what would make this better, I, I don't know. There's too many cards. It's a big format. Either way, we're gonna be playing this deck and seeing how it goes. And uh, Scott said I would like it, so that's what we're gonna do. And Ravnica is right around the corner, so I'm not sure what this deck loses, but we'll take a look at that afterwards. Or we can take a look now. So, M19, M19, all of this survives. It does lose Carry Zev's expertise. It loses Pull from Tomorrow, but that's that's pretty easily replaceable. Single Pate's Dominaria, so it gets to keep that. It loses Insult to Injury. It loses Chandra. Does anyone know if Lightning... No, Lightning Strike is M19, so that can stay. Search for Azkanta stays. Anticipate stays. I don't know where Shock is. If Lightning Strike is in the format, Shock... Oh, Shock and Lightning Strike are both in M19, so we are good there. Unsummon, is that in M19? I don't know. That is... That might believe. So, it looks like a bunch of these... This looks like it leaves. This looks like it's. This looks like it stays. So we'd have to find a replacement for, for, for these, but I don't think that's actually terribly hard. Either way, we're gonna keep this hand because we have a spire bluff canal and a land. So that's good enough for me. 
McGimp, what's going on, buddy? Unfortunately, you cannot be playing your Bant Time Walkers deck against me when we're playing Standard today. Suck on them eggs, you old so and so. Tempt to just wait to anticipate. Like, if we go Shock Anticipate on turn four after playing a Gutter Snipe, that's pretty cool. However, we do have a lot of things to do. We could also just Lightning Strike Shock, which is three, four, five, six. That's nine damage. I'll make a standard version. It's actually, that is a, that is actually a thing. Funny enough. Been watching all your vids on YouTube. First time getting to catch you live. You have definitely made me enjoy drafting a lot more. That's awesome, man. That's a great, that's great to hear. Demir Mage, thank you so much for saying so. Anytime I could actually uh, make people more, make formats more enjoyable to people is, uh, that's, that's a top tier compliment right there. What are the odds this guy hangs out? Like 0%, right? Oh, it's alive. You can't Fatal Push it. You can Doom Blade it. Yeah, cast down. Gamma Set, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. Was there a notification there? Did notification go off? I don't know. Land. No land. I guess we're just going to pass here. Now we can probably anticipate because we want to hit a land or a thing to do. We got a new toy for Grixis Control. What is it? Did I miss it? I might have seen it. We're just going to pass with... Uh, it's going to be another land. Oh, two Syncopates are better than one. Someone did it for you the first time I showed up your stream and it's time to pay it for it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Man, what a what a time to be alive. Oh, I did see that guy. I did see that guy. I was not sure how I felt about him, though. Mainly because it's five mana. Like, five mana is a lot. Do, 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 do. I feel like we're just under the thumbnail of Teferi right now. Negate. The main deck negate, and you're just going to negate this? Of course you do. Yep. Not even really going to play this out. This is just kind of ridiculous. We don't have any pressure on the board, and they have a Teferi, so. That's cool. That's cool. We're going to Spell Pierce and Negate. They don't have creatures, so I'm probably taking out Shocks. And Carries have Expertise. Actually, sleep is probably pretty bad. Uh, Glory Burger could be very good. I don't hate dive downs in this matchup. Hmm. Actually, Unsummon can go and we'll bring in dive downs. Cool, that worked. Buddy Lee, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I wonder, I don't think they're popping. I don't think the notifications are popping. What's mission briefing? Is that the uh, the snapcaster that doesn't cast, that doesn't snap? It doesn't matter what comes, the rush comes better in life. Can I get a red? I, I liked mission briefing a lot more when I thought you could actually play the spell for free. A la like wind brisk kites or something. Once I realized you had to pay for cruel ultimatum and you had to pay more than two mana for it, I was like, I was a little more reluctant. However, that being said, could still be good.
Pretty sure we can just pass here. I don't really see a reason to play Gutter Snipe into like a counter spell when we have no way to back it up. I think we just play Gutter Snipe next turn. Keep up the old Pierce Arena. Baller. What's up, Unseen Spectre? Oh my god, your car won't be fixed until 10 2? That's like three weeks. My god. That is not a reasonable amount of time. Mine was fixed in like a day, but. Also, it was, uh only cosmetics so gutter snipe number dose half a new car seems pretty good that's a good deal I guess I mean waiting for three weeks is not easy yep that is more than fine Static suicide, what's going on, buddy? It's going to be a land, which I'm ready for. This is our first attack with this guy. That's pretty good. I actually don't even want to syncopate here. I kind of want to... I just want to keep up... Uh, or I don't even want an Enigma Drake here. I just want to keep up syncopate because... That seems better. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Two new tires, both bumpers replaced on new rears. Yeah, that's basically a new car. Oh, is it syncopate number two? Do we lightning strike their face? Hmm, this is five damage. Six, seven, eight, nine. I think we just want all the syncopates. If this gutter snipe just survives here, it's pretty good. Yeah, I do like a good land. Don't drive drunk, the other driver, not me. Good good call, good call. Tuffy Head, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Alright, well, I don't know why Twitch alerts aren't working, and that's really sad. What more can I do? One. They only have three cards in hand. That's pretty good. I'm a fan. Can you spend two for this? Didn't think so. This isn't cube. That is correct. That is why the title says standard then cube. That is correct. Oh god, don't do it again. If you do it again... They're, gonna, they're like, I'll just do it on your turn. When I have full counter spell mana up. Fascinating. See, that's what I love about cube. You guys can't even tell that it's not cube. <laughs> you guys can't even tell. You're just like, is this cube? I thought this was cube. This looks like cube. They have three cards in hand. Glimmer. Do I care about a glimmer? I 
I do care about a glimmer. One, two, three. Is this gutter snipe gonna wreck him? Let's see if we can find a spell pierce or a shock for the win. Hmm. Dive down is not it, but that might that's good enough. That's very good, because then this guy survives for another turn, so. And the dive down will put them to two, so any spell is lethal. Alright, I like it. They also only have two cards in hand. Whoa. Whoa. I have a feeling this dive down is going to... Well, it doesn't win us the match. We're in game two, and we're, we're down a game, so... I mean, we have to do this now, otherwise they take it. And there's no point of them letting them take it when we can get the two damage out of it. If they have a removal spell, they're going to use it in response anyway, so. But if they use it in response, then we get to keep Enigma Drake. Presumably. Well, the round is the same thing as the match. Round and match are the same thing. You're thinking of game. <laughs> Not the match, the round. My bad. Oh, the hexproof resolved. Wow. Yeah, you got it. You can't even put my guy on the bottom? Oh, boy, you're dead to any spell? That's pretty good. Oh, wow, he's just like, well, that'll do. I guess they just can't deal with this guy, so... That's pretty good. All right, so... Dive down is actually pretty OP. Oh, we took the shocks out, so we wouldn't have even drawn them shocks. Dive down is basically just better than spell pierce, right? It's just a one mana hard counter. Zaxor, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why the uh, the Twitch alerts are not working. I'm going to log in see if I can. Hmm. This is the only card I really want to bring in here. I'm not sure what else I could take out. I guess we can take out the Clearbringer. I do like Shock in here. I think I might like Shock more than... That blows. Wow. That's aggressive. You're aggressive. I'll keep this hand. I don't love it, but any one of our eight creatures is pretty good here. Sure. Enjoy. Take a gander. Bell Pierce, eh? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like when they thought seize you and they just take your counter spell. I'm like, well, I was going to counter that anyway. You Now you just got to... Now you just took two damage from it. Pretty 
probably going to uh, anticipate here because it lets us find a thing. I guess we can take another anticipate. But now we know we're three cards deeper. So gutter snipe will be right here. It was a sulfur falls. I lied to you. I apologize. <laughs> Spazio, what's going on, buddy? Frank, what's your favorite cheese? I think it's actually mozzarella. I feel like I think about this a lot. I think we're going to go with mozzarella. I think it's just the most... Uh, I think it's the most one of the most versatile cheeses. You can use it in grilled cheese. I've had omelets with mozzarella. It was it was they're fan they're one of my favorite omelets. It's the it's one of the more meltier cheeses. Uh, it has a wide range of uh, different varieties. Like you have regular mozzarella, buffalo mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. Like you have a lot of things you can do with mozzarella. I would imagine your your mozzarella content in Italy is pretty high. My second favorite cheese? That's a good question. Well, there's so many cheeses that I'm just like, what is my favorite cheese? What's the best of the cheeses? I think my second favorite cheese is likely cheddar. I feel like those are two very, very, uh, very basic cheese answers, but I think they're the most versatile cheeses. I think there's a reason they're like the most popular cheeses. Wow. 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 Okay, you got it. No brie? No, brie is not in my top two. <laughs> like, that's a very obscure... Like, brie isn't even that super popular. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised that brie is not in someone's top two cheeses. I don't understand. Where's your brie, love? Oh, we resolved one. We resolved a gentleman. One drakey boy. What do we do if you kill this guy? I guess we don't care because the other spells are more important. And we also can't counter it, so... I guess we could, we could dive down. Uh, how do I feel about pepperonis and cheese? When I used to eat pepperoni, I loved pepperonis, but... Um, I don't eat pepperoni anymore, so I, I, I don't love it as much. But I, I did like it. We're going to syncopate this, and the reason is because if they if they play a land next turn in a Teferi, we can't counter that anyway. So we might as well get the value out of this. Syncopate's going to get significantly worse. I love... Veggie pepperoni is amazing. I just can't find it anywhere. Veggie pepperoni is one of the few things I have not been able to find. I can find veggie sausage, veggie hot dogs, veggie burgers. Veggie pepperoni is something I've actively looked for and cannot find it, unfortunately. What's happening right now? Torrential Gear Hulk. Well, I'm going to try to find an answer to that bad boy. We did not. I'm sad. I has a sad. Yep. It's pretty good. One, two. Maybe should have just searched for four, drawn for four. Maybe that would have been better, actually. But I mean, like doing that, we just were we're committing to let the torrential gear Hulk resolve. Uh, I feel like I've gone over this numerous times. I don't like the look of meat. I think it looks like if you've seen if you've seen any any anatomy of the human body, like if you've seen muscle, it's the same muscle as on a cow, right? Like a cow or a pig or what have you. Like the muscle looks the same. So like. 
uh, that weirds me out for one thing because it's very very like it's I'm not I'm not that far removed from the thing I'm eating. Um, second, I value animals as creatures more than I value the taste of them. So, um, I, I've had this discussion before, so I apologize for if you guys are listening to it and, and have to hear my my rant on on uh, why I like meat, but or why I don't like meat that much. But um, yeah, we're just gonna concede this game. We're not winning this match. Um, you know, I'm just answering because I was asked. So, um, I eating meat. Like we're, we're it's 2018. You don't really need. You don't have to eat meat if you need protein. You don't have to eat meat if you need vitamins. You don't have to eat meat if you need iron. You don't have to eat meat specifically to get these nutrients. We have ways to do it without that. So what it comes down to when you eat meat is flavor. You're saying I like the flavor of this thing more than I like the animal that it came from. More than I appreciate the living being that this came from. And I am not. I, I don't really reconcile that. Like I can't really. Uh, like, if I look at an animal, I can't be like, hey, I, I, it's worth killing you just to taste you. That's a weird, really kind of a trivial thing, right? A taste of something. I mean, if this is a situation where, like, you don't have access to supermarkets and you can't, um, you can't go to the store, you know, it's, um, I, I understand. I understand hunting and eating and, and using every part of the animal. I'm not, I'm not anti, like, hunting for the sake of eating and, you know, eating everything you you hunt right i'm not i'm not anti that but like if it, for me personally it comes down to like i would rather hang out with animals and and pet them and enjoy their their company because they're sentient beings with feelings and emotions than than i would eat them and, and just taste them I, I, that's you know it comes it's it's a it's a one or the other kind of thing for me and i'd rather just do the other you know it came down to when i was uh about in in around like 2002 i wanted to own a pig because i was like they're they're super cute and they're smarter than dogs. They're actually very intelligent animals. And I couldn't reconcile wanting to own an animal uh, and considering it a pet and also eating that animal. So that's where it kind of started for me. And I was just like, this doesn't make any sense. So that's my veg. That's my, that's my meat rant. Plants are living too? Question mark. Are you asking if they're living? Because they are. Yes. Are they sentient beings that can uh, express pain and and emotion and feelings? I don't think so. <laughs> but I mean, like, if you're really gonna be that dude who makes the slippery slope, um, uh, the 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 weird comparison of like, you know, you, you can't eat plants if you don't like. I mean, if you're really comparing a cow or a dog or a pig to a plant, like, all right. I mean, that's sure. I mean, it sounds like, I mean, like, that's the kind of, like, doing that is the kind of person that just wants to literally, like, uh, I don't know. And I have seen the articles where, like, oh, plants feel pain and plants suffer. And, like, I, you know, it's like, I, what, are, what are we going to do? Like, <laughs> what, what are you going to do? I mean... And that's not even to get into the uh, the issue of like factory farms and you know how detrimental they are to the environment and uh, to the, to the land. Like, Response, to, that's not how you spell that, S-I-B-I-L-I-T. I'll keep this hand. Vegetarian Indian food is gas. Indian food is some of my favorite food ever. And replacing any meat with just paneer is fantastic. Like, the flavor does not come from the meat in Indian food. It definitely comes from the curry and the spices. So and here's here's my here's my response to that, right? Like like plants have feelings, blah blah blah. You have to eat something living to you have to eat something living to survive, right? Sure, I agree with you. You do. Plants, nuts, what have you. 
But that doesn't mean there aren't degrees to that. And it doesn't mean like, well, if someone's got to die, I might as well kill the most sentient, emotional feeling being, right? Like that just doesn't, that's not really how that works. So, I mean, there's still value in doing the, the most you can to kind of minimize your impact in that way. So that's my feeling on that. Am I saying you can survive on Earth without eating anything that has lived? No, that's that's ridiculous and that's stupid. That's silly to even bring up. Am I saying that I will definitely try to minimize my impact, the 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 impact on the amount of beings that the sentient creatures that that die based on my diet? Yes, yes, I am saying that. So, that feels like a pretty reasonable compromise, I feel. Sometimes I eat only air, but only for like 30 minutes or so, then I stop. <laughs> Oh, that's gas. Well, as long as you don't overdose on air, I think you're okay. What is even happening? This seems like a pretty central card to whatever is going on here. Not going to tune into Twitch. Stay in school, kids. Come on, survive. I love plants too. I, I really do. I think plants are amazing. And when like, even when you have like a plant in your house and you see the plant like leaning towards the window or like toward the sunlight, it's super, it's super amazing. Like you're just like life is life in general is pretty amazing, but I mean, you do have to eat. Right. And like, you know, I have to favor higher level organisms over lower level organisms. That's just how it, I, I mean, that's, it only makes sense. Right. Also, the closer we get to developing meat in labs, awesome, fantastic. When you get tacos, what do you guys are feeling? Uh, so here's the thing. I do eat chicken sometimes. I do eat turkey sometimes. I'm not a complete vegetarian. That is my compromise because it is easier to get these foods. And I, I that's why I don't, I don't begrudge anyone for eating meat. I don't hold it against anyone. I don't, I don't say you should be a vegetarian. You should be vegan. Like I, your eating practices are your own. Um, but a lot of times when I get tacos, I will get beans, refried beans, regular beans, what have you, black beans. So, hmm. Oh, the impossible burger is amazing. I, I will eat impossible burger all day. Would you eat human meat in a very specific situation? I mean, in a very specific situation. I don't have a... Uh, if, if I'm literally needing it to survive, if I'm one of those dudes on Mount Everest and I'm stuck there and I have to eat something and someone died, I would probably eat it to survive. I would not like it. Because that would be weird if I did. All right, you have two cards. We're going to Cinco Pate this and we're probably going to get that countered. Impossible Burger is unbelievable, and it is it is one of the closest steps to uh, like fake meat. Can I get a dude or or a a, Chandri, a shandy? Okay, well, land is good. Yeah, beyond 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 meat burgers and Impossible Burgers are two of my go to for uh, for fake meat. Like, and, and these have just come out in the past year or two, and um, they're mind-blowing in terms of the quality, so. If you did end up liking the human meat, would you tell anyone? Probably not. I think that's just a secret I'm going to have to take with me. This guy's going to get cast down, and we're going to be real sad. I think you want dive down in the main deck instead of syncopate, because the only thing you're trying to do is protect your creatures. 
And this is like if they if they cast like a Teferi and then they try to to tuck this guy, you can just dive down for one mana. You often don't have the mana to play a three drop and to also syncopate something valuable, like this. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm likely gonna have to shock this twice. I'm probably more willing to waste two shocks here than I am willing to uh, hope I draw a lightning strike and then use that because this also lets us keep Cinco paid up next turn. So It also gives us a 4-4 four, four now, which is no joke. Gutter snipe. Land? I'm going to play all the lands, obviously, because we have pull from tomorrow and we have Cinco paid, so... I think Lab Meat is also going to take off big time. I, you can see it already taking off big time. You're seeing Meat Eaters who are like, this is very good. And uh, that's huge. No, stop doing this one. You have three, four. Stop trying to take this. That's rude. They have one card. Don't be a counterspell. It was not. Well, I mean, he's never going to come close to replacing good old, good old steak. It's insanely difficult to replicate. Yeah, but so what? <laughs> like, if your taste buds have to take a hit so an entire species of animal doesn't get to suffer anymore, like, isn't that worth it? That's such a weird thing to say, right? Like, it's a weird... That's the kind of mentality, I think, that really creeps me out because it's like, you'll never replace real meat. Well, like, sure, but can't you sacrifice even a little bit for this, like, entire, entire species of animals? <laughs> like... That doesn't seem like a lot to ask. Oh, we're going we're going deep, boys. I'm just going to shock your face. We're just going to go ham. They have no cards, we have no cards, but I don't think that's true. I think most people come around and I think the people who won't come around will die off in a generation. I think the more fake meat is a part of culture the more popular it is the more prominent it is um the more like because people of my generation are much more much more uh accustomed to fake meat and uh whoa than 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 my parents generation right like they'll have meat with every single meal we're just going ham <laughs> <laughs> All right, so again, we want the dive downs. I don't like the unsummons at all. I think dive down should 100% be unsummoned. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice meatball. Shove Junior, if that's what you got to do, if that's what you got to do, I totally understand. I I am more, I am more excited about people seeing people just seeing people just being willing to do that, rather than uh, the speed at which they do it. What do I want blink of an eye for? I don't want to bounce a hostage taker. I guess if they play our guy, we can bounce our own guy. I don't know if that's great. I'm going to take the sleep out. I also don't like sleep in here. Let's make these changes right now. I'm going to take sleep out and the unsummons out. I think they should literally just be dive downs. Like, you're just trying to deal damage with these cards. I do like a glory bringer here. Uh Carries of expertise doesn't seem great here. They don't have a ton of creatures. I'll take one Cinco paid out, I guess. Actually, Cinco paid's been pretty good. I'm gonna take one shock out instead. That seems good. 
That's true, actually. This uh, this deck does get significantly better with all the Izzet cards in the new format. Striker 9000. Nine, uh, one, two, three, four, nine million. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Hopefully you guys on YouTube, I I, I don't want to burden everyone with, with meat talk and like, you just eat a burger or whatever. I don't want, I don't want to be that guy where it's like the, the stream gets bogged down with, uh, with meat beliefs and vegetarian beliefs. So hopefully you guys are okay with that and we can just get through it. Either way, I'm going to keep this hand. Worst case scenario, we, uh, we anticipate for a land. Uh, all right. I guess we're going to just... It's going to be a Sulphur Falls. It was an anticipate. I lied to you. Josh, no worries, buddy. No worries, buddy. Facts, not beliefs. Nice. Nice. Gas. What about the socioeconomic impact on ranchers? I don't know. I feel as bad for them as I feel for the coal miners, I guess. Like... The world is going to change. If I have to feel bad for a specific subset of people because their industry does not change with the world, I do. I do feel bad for them. But we cannot not change the world for the better because of it. Like, that's just simply how it goes, I think. I, I, I hate to say it, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna sacrifice the entire planet so that the coal industry or the, the factory farm industry can literally sustain itself like i'm not going to sacrifice that for the the methane emissions and the the atmospheric destruction <laughs> like no just i'm sorry take online courses to learn how to program computers like it's not a it's like, there are so many outlets for you to improve yourself and to 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 find other other skills like there's so many things you can do Yeah, you have all this land as well. You can just do something else with your land. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. And maybe it is. I, I, uh, that's trivializing. I, I imagine it is a big deal. But I don't think it's an unsolvable problem. I'm going to take the gutter snipe. Like, yeah, no, no one was like, think of all the coke, think of all the Polaroid film. No, man, you just gotta, you gotta, you have to evolve. You have to. That's progress. That's technology, man. That's life. Are you gonna, oh... Think of all the reality TV we're skipping out on to watch Twitch. That's a good point. That's really sad. Oh god, what do you name with this? What's going on right now? Demon. Oh, that's exciting. Land. I need a land here. I'm going to anticipate to find a land. Which feels bad, man. It feels Batman. Do we lightning strike to try to like... Oh, God. Arcane Adaptation. Woof! A breakdown of the Guilds of Replica? Explain that to me, and maybe... What would you look for in the Guilds of Ravnica breakdown? Oh boy. Oh boy. Have they gained life? 
They gained two from this. They took two. They took two. That is a daemon. That is a one. That is one hostage daemon. I'm gonna let this happen. They do have a treasure, so they could potentially do a thing. Don't have a negate. Ooh, we got our little dragon back. Dragon's back. All right, bear, 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 bear. Can we kill them actually? So we can play this and make this guy a four, five, six. I think this is actually lethal. So this would be five, they deal 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, we're one mana shy. I think next turn we can do it. If this is an untapped land, we'd be good to go. G2G, ladies and gentlemen. I like Frank Sanders because I don't talk about MTG so much. Like, I could talk about MTG, but everyone knows what's going on in this game, I think. So, I'll talk about it to the extent of, like, if there's some, some key plays. I like, I'll talk about, I'll talk about some Magic the Gathering. No, well, that's sad. Uh-oh, are they going to do it again? Oh, God, do you have two? Oh, that's fine. I think we win now. This puts three cards in the graveyard, making this a six. So this is going to attack for 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be gas. I will be playing a cube, one cube draft after this. Yes. So. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for the insult? Scott, I hope you're watching. I hope you see it, buddy. Boom. Get him. Get him with the Drake. I wish I knew some Drake lyrics. I could make them right now, but I don't I don't I'm not a big Drake fan. No, I'm not a not I'm not not a fan of Drake. I just don't know much of his his catalog. So anyway, got him. Didn't we change the deck? Didn't we add these? Where are the dive downs? Oh, they're over here. They're in like random piles. That's interesting. Three of these might be too many. I might just play the fourth dive down and cut one of these. I also don't love Carry Zev's expertise. I'll move that to the sideboard. Um. Hmm. Twenty-three lands. I mean, we could play Wandering Fumeral, right? So now we need three sideboard cards and one main deck card. What could it be? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. Dynavolt Tower makes this a completely different deck, but maybe that is a solid room. That is a solid win condition. There's no abrades in the deck, but you want to be able to go face. So. The problem is by doing that, like we can cut pull to tomorrow for Glimmer. I think that's completely reasonable. I also don't know how much I care about Chandra. 
And Banefire might be too cute. Like, what if we did three, three, and three? Would be would be able to cut this stack for that? Maybe. Adelie's is nice, but we don't have any other wizards, so it's really she's really just a two-two for for three. I don't mind the haste though. Like it's not a wizard deck though, you know. It's not like a. That whole tower actually seems pretty good. I'm gonna bring in three towers, three glimmer. This is sixty-three cards. I think we can cut one syncopate. We can probably cut one dive down. Cut the bane fire. It's kind of cute. I do like the Chandra. I think they're pretty strong. I also think these are good too because it lets Dynavolt deal six the turn. Uh, I don't think bidding Drake is very smart. Adelie's like Adelie's like Drake was a seven four last game. <laughs> like that's just insane. Yeah, we're definitely bringing an Aether Hub. I just wanted to. I'm just looking over the deck first. Cut two and two. Um, one more cut. Probably cut a Chandra. Actually, we can probably cut Search for Ascanta. It doesn't do what we want it to do. It's cute. I like the card a lot, but I don't think it's exactly where we want to be. We also have a bunch of counter spells on the sideboard. I'll add one more negate. <laughs> the two cards that come up when you search hub are Hubris and Aether Hub. That's nice. Hmm. I actually just want four negates in the sideboard against the control decks. Like we'd cut the some of the burn spells and just play Dynavolt Towers in that in those positions. Or we can add like two disallow. Which I don't hate. I don't know if that's great, but... Uh, I don't think we empty our hand that quickly. We have a lot of three and four drops. I do like Chandra because she provides card advantage. She also lets you ramp. Uh, she adds mana, so you can play like a gutter snipe and still keep counterspell mana up. And uh, the two damage can just add up, so I think she's a nice addition. Shove Junior, thank you so much for saying so. Really appreciate it. Let's go back and uh, see what we can do. So we can close this guy. Close this guy. I mean, the blink is good, but like. You want one mana. You want to be able to play out the guy on turn four and protect it. And also, if you're paying two mana to save your own guy and then replaying it for, for three more mana, you're spending five mana instead of two. Glorious End could be good. That's interesting. I will play first. Yeah, this hand seems fine. We can keep this. Man, how many fetid pools are we playing against this week or the, this this night? I'm gonna anticipate try to hit a land here. Man, blue black is the place to be, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know what order that would have been in, but if we were going two more lands, two more hands without two more draws without lands, it's pretty bad. Um. I'm just going to play Enigma Drake here. Let's do it correctly, though. And if they want to, like, kill it, that's fine. They have to use a cast down, so... 
which I'm sure they'll have. They didn't have it. Oh my god. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I just made this much smaller. There we go. Nope, still not good. All right. Get you for one. We should have actually picked gutter snipe first, but I mean, if they counter gutter snipe, it's wow. Well then. Oh, they're not going to play anything. Ooh, this is interesting for us. Okay, so they're just blue light control here. Yeah, might as well make it worth it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Eight, seven extra damage. Oh, and we just win the game. All right, cool. Seems good. So the problem with taking the shocks out is like neither one of these kill their things, but we want the one damage spell more than we want the the two damage spell. I think we're gonna bring in the negates, bring in spell pierce. Take out insult to injury, bring in another spell pierce and a disallow. I think. Yeah, we're just bringing in a bunch of counters. I like disallow because if they have Teferi, it lets us counter the uh, if we, if we have Dynavolt Tower and they play Teferi, it lets us uh, counter their negative three. I do kind of like the four shocks, though. I'll probably cut the disallow. Shock is nice because it's one mana. You want the one mana thing so you can go Gutter Sniper and Enigma Drake and still shock their face. Opt might be better than Anticipate. That's a good point. You're seeing two cards either way. I like that a lot, actually. The one mana is extremely relevant. See, I'm going to keep that. If that was an opt, like... You see two cards instead of three, but it's half the price. Oh, we probably should just play the other one first, but I, get, I think it matters. I'm probably going to anticipate here for some uh, for some action. Well, they are Grixis, and they have no problem with uh, mana this game. Um. I'm going to take the Spell Pierce. Now we have a counter spell for every season. They have five cards, so I'm trying to just look for ways to deal with that. Search for Ezkanta is such a good card. Did I say a counterspell for every season? <laughs> oh boy. Well, I don't know how nature works. Oh, that's a good one. But do we want to just play it into their five mana? Probably not. Is it possible to have too many counterspells against a blue-black control deck, against the Grixis control deck? I don't think so. I think we just wait till we can negate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They did not play a card. A land. Interesting. I 
All right, let's see. Let's have the war. Yep, disallow. Sure. And if we waited one more turn, we could have spell pierced as well. But it's not only a matter of waiting one turn because we might not have hit a land. We did. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Considering Enigma Drake was in Dominaria, I would hope it's in Standard. Hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six. They can, they can torrential gear hulk here. Then we can syncopate for two and still keep up spell pierce, which is very, very nice. It's very nice. Magma spray. Where's my dive down? Where's me dive down? I'm gonna just shoot these off now because they're eight, they're eight damage. And getting them in the graveyard is fine for Enigma Drake. Spell Pierce looking worse now, unfortunately. Four, four, flyer for three. Let's do it. Single pain spell breaks get worse as the game goes longer. That's correct. Astute observation. That is correct. Yep, we're just going to go to the next game. I wish I didn't show them that because then uh, they wouldn't know. I think the Spell Pierce could actually be Dispel, too. I think some of the Spell Pierce can be Dispel. Most of the time, again, you're trying to save your guy, so... Is Dispel legal and standard? Maybe it's not. <laughs> It might not be legal in this format, so maybe that's why it's not that. Okay. Keep that in mind. I'll keep this hand. Amp, thank you so much for the biddies. Really appreciate it, buddy.
Yeah, we're just going to pass here because we want to be able to play one of these guys with dive down up. So, ideally gutter snipe. Because it is going to deal more damage in the short term. Counter it. You can hurt my guy. Sure. What are the odds we can resolve a Chandra here? Hmm. They have to have negate, right? They never don't have negate. They have to have negate and the other guy up. Like they could also have essence scatter up, right? I don't know. I guess we're gonna we. What? Well, butter my biscuits. Cool. Go to Snipe. Results. All right. How how flavorful. Flavor win. Yep, that's fine. That was for the Chandra. Thank you. Bob Lobla, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Nebraska's contempt. Yeah, we're gonna dive down here. We're gonna dive down, maybe dive down. We're gonna cut the hoops up, baby. I got a counter spell. I have everything. Never didn't have a thing. <laughs> wow, amazing! You're very good at this game. How did you get so good at this game? Do you think it was years of practice? Years of practice. Mm -hmm. Here comes Torrential Gearhulk into Veraska's Contempt. What about Sahili in the side? What is, she doesn't really do much is the problem. I feel like she's just the worst Chandra, right? Shove Junior, have a good... <laughs> Are you kidding? Double Chandra's defeat. Oh, God. I'm cringing very, very hard right now. Just because why do you have two of those in the sideboard? Oh my god. Sure. This is just, uh... We're having a good time. It's a 1-4, man. Just let it be. kidding me yep that's pretty unbeatable we have no way to stop it from flipping so Yep, going to go to the next game. And by next game, I mean next match. The control deck seems terrible for this deck. It's very hard to deal enough damage or to out-control them.
I also just haven't liked Chandra. Every time I, I land a Chandra, I'm just like, eh. I think we do add another Glimmer. I think Glimmer is nice. It refills your hand. I also want a 24th land in this deck. Like, this deck is uh, misleadingly mana intensive. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Um, I'm trying to think of all the blue-red lands in this format. I think these are them and then Wandering Femoral. Wandering Femoral is not legal and standard, right? What am I thinking? Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> Why would I think that was legal and standard? All right. Nope, not don't join a modern queue. Oh, ops, ops, ah, leave. Yeah, let's put ops in instead of anticipate. That is a good option. That is a good option. <laughs> good call, good call. Yes, I will play first. Depending on what we're playing against, this could be good or it could be very bad. I'm going to keep it. We have eight one drops in our, or 12 one drops in our deck. So. Any big drop? We could play one pull from a turn, pull from tomorrow. There's definitely times where you are okay with playing one pull. Turn two, Steel Leaf Champion incoming. Oh, uh, I don't think it'd be better over Glimmer, especially when we have Dynavolt Towers. I can see why you'd want to cycle it, but cycling it doesn't trigger Gutter Snipe. I think four might be too many, though. I'm offended that you play this on turn two off Atlanta War Elves and two white bordered forests, just to be clear. If only I had this in my hand last turn, we would actually have a completely different game right now. Like, they're not even the same. If you were like, hey, I like this John Avon land on this 8th edition forest, I'd be like, okay, cool. But you also have this John Avon land, and these are all John Avon forests. Why do you have all these that aren't the same lands? Yeah, I had a feeling you weren't blocking there. Here, up, Kudra. Sure. That's actually fine. Opt is great here. Holy smokes. Can we just kill them? If we get a one another one mana spell, they might be dead. Oh, that's not it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, seven, eight. We can take eight if they don't have any other pump spell in hand. I really don't want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can deal. Um, actually, can we lightning strike and then? Yeah, I think they're dead.
We syncopate our own lightning strike and then don't pay for it. Or pay for it, I guess. Pay zero, yes. Yeah, it's pretty good. That was pretty cool. I was a fan of all the things that just happened there. See, I'm gonna take a couple, I'm gonna take one tower out, two glimmers, I'm gonna bring in one glory bringer two blinks spell pierce and negate I feel like they're not going to counter much sweltering suns the damage is going to be done by the time we actually get to play it they would already have a steel leaf champion if that was a concern so Keep this hand. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Bottom. Got another one. So next time we can Enigma Drake. Four mana, huh? Okay. The chosen creature type is God. Sure. Oh, Ronus is kind of obnoxious. So, we might want Remove Soul on the sideboard for matches like this. Essence Scatter, rather. Over Disallow. Shouldn't you be getting cigarette biddies? What, what does that mean? What does that mean, Amped? What are you saying right now? What is it, Amped? Use your words. One, two... That's the old one. This is the new one. Wow. Scorpion God and Ronus. What in the hell is going on? What have I what had what 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 is being wrought upon wrought wrought upon me? Wrought 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 Are we dead? Six plus eleven, and then you can just pump this for two. Thirteen, we go to one. Any thoughts on what time I might start cubing? I mean, after in a, in a round or two, I have I I don't know. Can we kill them? I don't think so. I might play Dive Down just to get the spell in the graveyard here. Actually, I'm definitely going to play Dive Down to uh, to save one of our, our, our gentle friends. How am I feeling about Doom War Commander? Pretty good, actually. Surprisingly good. 
block the non-death touch one that prevents one more one more point so that seems good okay well that's not what we're looking for here it's not looking good bottom bottom all right we're gonna go to the next game here six damage is not gonna do it <laughs> yeah sweltering suns would not have been ideal there Dive down also seems pretty bad here. They're not targeting our guys with anything. Okay. All creatures lose indestructible in ton of turn. It deals five. Then they just come back, right? Maybe this is a carry expert carry Zev's expertise moment. River's Rebuke could be interesting. I'll keep this hand. Now we're definitely going to bolt the guy. Bolt the bird, as it were. Or we can opt. See, there's a different. There's an interesting tension between Gutter Snipe and Enigma Drake. Gutter Snipe wants you to keep the cards in your hand. Enigma Drake wants you to play them as soon as you can. So, one you want to play before the guy comes out. One you want to play after. And there's going to be a gutter snipe here. You ready? Oh, Glorybringer? We're not close to casting you, unfortunately, so you're going to go on the bottom. There's a gutter snipe. Okay. See, now I want to save the things. So I think we'll play Drake next turn so we can attack with it, and then we'll play gutter snipe into shock. If they play Drover, though, I'm probably going to lightning strike it or shock it. Uh, do I use any beard or beard oil or bomb? I do have beard oil, um, but that's not really what keeps the style. I'm not really like my beard is pretty short. Like I use a uh, number five or number seven here and a number five on the mustache, so it keeps it short. Like it's not long. It's just not long enough to to really need any sort of uh, you know styling, like any kind of product. That's pretty good. You don't have reach, right? And you can't attack or block. Okay, I like it. Uh, we already had sleep in the in the in the deck, and we just. Took them out because we just don't care about them. We're not attacking with this guy, and we're like, I mean, I can see putting sleep in the sideboard. That guy's friggin' huge. But we can bounce this and then attack. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's actually very good. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can put them to one here. That's fascinating to me. So this would be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah. Then they have to deal with both of these next turn. Yeah, all right. The problem with Drake is that if they have any sort of like wrath effect, I don't think they could, but um, they can play two lands. I don't know. I mean, like there's no reason to play Drake here. This, this, this puts them dead to any, any top deck. They now have the city's blessing. So they gotta deal with this guy who floats. Bontu. Okay. This deck looks sweet, I'm gonna be honest. It's just a 5 5 for 3, right? 
Okay. That should be the end. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. I like sleep better than sweltering suns because sleep actually doesn't kill your own guys. And it still lets you attack. I don't think I ever want to see Hour of Devastation. I never want to actually cast that card. Because it kills our own guys. I think this is probably where we want to be. I think I like this configuration a lot. The one the one mana cards are a lot better than the two mana cards, I think. And as you can see, like a lot of times you just want to be able to save your own guy. If these guys survive, usually they'll win you the game. If they don't, then you're in bad shape. But, um, yeah, I, I like this deck a lot. I think it was sweet. Um, I think the dive downs help in the main deck. I think the ops are better than the, an the anticipate. Like I said, anticipate lets you see three cards. Opt lets you see two. But being able to play a gutter snipe or an enigma drake on turn four and also play a one mana spell is very relevant. Uh, we didn't actually get a chance to test Dynavolt Tower. But if you don't end up playing Dynavolt Tower, you get six extra slots, which is a lot. But we want way to, ways to draw cards and trigger these guys anyway, so Glimmer is just an added bonus. And your deck is playing spells that, that kill with Gutter Snipe, so you might as well just play the Dynavolt Tower anyway. So, Plus, a Braid isn't as common nowadays, and if you can just slam a Dynavolt Tower on turn three, it seems pretty good. But uh, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you want to check me out on Patreon or Twitch or have me look at one of your own decks, you can find out information on how to do that in the uh, description below. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the YouTube video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.